Lucy, what's happening? Where's Jack? He's still not here. You're kidding. I wish I was. No one has a clue where he is. When a great opportunity comes along, the last thing you want to do is blow it. But it looks like we're about to do exactly that. How did this happen? It all started a week ago. Greta Michaels, assistant to one of Germany's biggest music agents, had tracked me down. She said she had a serious proposal. I have a serious proposal. I am seriously listening. We like what you and your band are doing and we want to arrange an audition. We, as in... Mr. Sharon is also very keen to hear you play. It's fantastic. But his time is very limited. He only has a 15-minute window next Wednesday. OK. So I've booked two studios, one here and one in Sydney, with a satellite link connecting them. All you have to do is choose a song. Can you and your friends make it? Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> Great. I'll send you the details of where and when. As it happened, however, we weren't the only ones whose talent was being appreciated right then. Very impressive, Sophie. You're a natural horsewoman. I couldn't agree more. Uh, Sophie, a word in your shell-like ear, if I may. Uh, is something wrong? Uh, on the contrary. How would you feel about representing the camp at a horse event? The annual inter-camp horse orienteering event. What do you say? Interested? I love orienteering. I've done it a few times back in Germany. Great. So you're in? Of course she's in. Sophie, go out and do Germany proud. I don't know if I can represent Germany, but I'm happy to represent the camp. Excellent. Um, I've taken the liberty of filling in the form for you, if you could just sign here and here. If you place in the top three, it'll be great publicity for the camp. Now, what if she wins? She won't win. I won't? She won't. Persephone Jones has won the last three years in a row. She's the daughter of Camp Wattle's owners. They're fanatics. Sounds like a challenge. I'm sure we can take her on. Right, Sophie? <laughs> <laughs> I'll just see how it plays out on the day. So, set your mind to next Wednesday morning. Wednesday morning? Yeah, count me in. I, I, I could be a personal cheerleader. <laughs> With pom-poms and a little skirt? Well, maybe not all of that, but you need some kind of support team, right? Thanks. I'd love to have you there. Then consider it done. <laughs> Listen, buddy, if I want your opinion, I will ask for it. Are you sure about coming? I know horses aren't really your thing. No, but you are very much my thing, and I definitely want to be there and support you. I can't possibly refuse then, can I? Kirsten? This is so awesome! Great work, Sam! I wish I could take the credit, but she just appeared out of nowhere. It was a total surprise. What's a surprise? Oh, you turning up for one thing. Hey, Jack. Hey, Sam. Ha uh ha, -huh, Lucy. <laughs> so anyway, what's this big surprise? You are not going to believe this. Oh, when? Next Wednesday. <laughs> Next Wednesday. 6 p.m., your time. Oh, no, 6 p.m., that's no sweat. I, for a second, I thought it was going to interfere with this horse thing, but uh, it's all good. What horse thing? Sophie's competition. She's, she's doing this orienteering event. I promised I'd be a support group. <laughs> what about our audition? Relax, the event finishes at 2. That gives me, like, four hours to make a 45-minute trip to the studio. Not even I could mess that up. <laughs> Sorry, do I detect a hint of doubt here? If the Olympics had an event for punctuality failure, you'd be gold medal material. Wow, that is a, that is a gross exaggeration. But Jack, you were late to your own birthday party. I, yeah, look, it won't be a problem. I will be there. In the meantime, can I suggest we focus on what really matters? Which is? Well, if we're going to take this chance, we need to be perfect. And that means one thing. Rehearse, rehearse, rehearse. That's right. And rehearse we did. Every day we practised and polished and perfected until we knew the song backwards, sideways and upside down. And to Jack's credit, not only was he always on time, but he also spent the mornings helping Sophie as well.
hope so. Are we all ready for tomorrow? If we were any more ready, we would explode. OK, then. I better get some sleep. I'll see you at the studio 6 p.m. your time. Bye, Sam. See you, dude. Oh, and wish Soph good luck for me. Yeah, I will do. Um, Lucy, uh, you used to ride in horse competitions a few years ago, right? Uh, yeah, I did gymkhanas and things years ago. Why? Well, I was just thinking, there's going to be a lot of horsey-type people at the event tomorrow, and um, I don't want to embarrass Sophie by looking out of place. It's an orienteering event. I don't think they dress up too much for that. Still, you know, I'm there as a support team. I feel like I should make an effort. What exactly are you saying? Well, I was just wondering um, if, if I could ask you for a small favour. Morning, Sophie. You ready to hit the road? All set. You're going to have a lot of pressure on you today, I'm afraid. How come? Looks like you'll be carrying the weight of the entire German nation on your back. Good morning, Sophie. What do you think? <laughs> I did this outfit myself. <laughs> I'm deeply honoured, Baron, but I don't know that I can fly the flag for all Germany. Why not? Let's show these horses some real horse riding skills. <laughs> You'll also have the snazziest looking crewman to support you. Snazziest? Where are you, Jack? <laughs> These jodhpurs are cutting me in half. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Jack, is that really you? Yes, it was the last time I checked. <laughs> Where did you get them from? They're Lucy's. Well, they used to be in a past life. Do you think the horsey types will approve? I don't care whether they do or not. I think you look great. <laughs> Crazy, but great. <laughs> And that's all that matters. All right, now the formalities are over, let's get this show on the road. So, compass and clue sheet with pen. Thanks. Okay. Ready to rock? Ready as I'll ever be. You're the German girl, right? Uh, yes, I'm Sophie. You've ridden these events before, I hear? Uh, a few times at home. You're starting before me, so just be sure to let me pass when I catch up to you. Sorry, what makes you think you're gonna catch up to her? I always do. I've won this event for the past three years and I didn't do it by dawdling. All right, well, I'll do my best not to impede you. Don't do your best. Just do it. We're all horsey girls, so... Uh, Aggressive? I, I was going to say obnoxious. <laughs> I think it's the same in every sport. Some people will do anything to win. All competitors report to the start line. All competitors to the start line. Wish me luck? No, no dice. Why not? Because I know you won't need it. Number one, come in, please. Up to the line. Go at the top of the flag. Thank you. Sophie. Fucking dead, Soph. <laughs> Top three will do us, Soph. Ah! Go, Sophie! Go, Sophie! So, what do we do for the next couple of hours? Don't you want to watch the last rider go off? Number seven, come on forward, please. Oh, I think I'd rather cut my toenails. Ah, sounds like you've met Persephone, then. Unfortunately, yes. Although I think if I put my mind to it, I'd probably erase that memory soon enough. Listen to the dulcet tones of guitar practice. So? Pleased to hear it. 
Wait, why exactly are you calling? Well, not to say that I don't trust you, but... Look, guitar, check. Rock God outfit laid out on bed, check. And ironed. Well, I'm officially impressed. Oh, how's Sophie doing? Is she winning? Uh, supportive boyfriend says absolutely. Persephone, you're a real sport. Luce, I've had second thoughts. Second thoughts? About what? Wait, what are you even doing up already? It's like 4 a.m. in Germany. I'm just wondering about the outfits we've chosen. I think they're too low key. Maybe we should go for something more dramatic. Like what? I don't know, maybe all white or all red. Or even red and white. Sounds more like a football team than a band. The point is we only get one chance at this gig. Look, you said he saw our videos on GrooveTube, so he knows what we look like. I'm sure he just wants confirmation that we are who he thinks we are. Our outfits are fine, our songs are fine, we'll be fine. Just don't overthink it, Sam. Is that what I'm doing? It is. Just relax. We always have fun when we play. That's exactly what this audition should be, fun. Yeah, then, if we get rejected, uh, we'll at least have had a good time. <laughs> right again, as usual. OK, I'll catch you later. Try and get some sleep, Sam. Why are you cheating like this? Persephone? Persephone? No, I officially have no internal organs left. How, how does anyone wear these pants? Persephone's hurt. We need an ambulance. Where are you? Near marker four. OK, hang on. We'll be there soon. Did I just see Jack get into that ambulance? Afraid so. It's not Sophie, is it? Ah, Persephone had a fall, apparently. Sophie came across her and called Jack. Thank goodness for that. Not for Persephone, of course. You know what I mean. I do. So I suppose that means Sophie's chances are... No glory for Germany this year, I'm afraid, mate. All the cab. What was she doing off a horse, anyway? Even though she was ahead of me, she was still afraid I might catch up and beat her. So she was trying to hide the markers. You mean isn't cheating? Good. Good. So she screwed up both your chances? Looks like it. I couldn't just leave her here. Yeah, tempting though it was. How are you with trick riding? You know, both horses at the same time. <sighs> Actually... You want me to take Persephone's horse back, don't you? I don't even have a chance of placing now, but I should finish the race, for Alan's sake. Of course you should. <laughs> There's a cross track about 400 metres back. If you take that, you should be back at the start in 20 minutes. I should arrive about then, too. See you soon. See ya. Well, looks like it's just you and me now, buddy. Thanks so much for taking me to the station, Walter. I really appreciate it. 
Not a problem, Sam. Here, let me take that back. Thanks. What? Oh, what's going on? You didn't think we'd let you go to your most important performance on your own, did you? You're coming? Sam, every rock band has roadies, right? So wear your roadies. I... I don't know what to say. Thank you so much. Don't thank us. You're the one with all the work to do. Listen, if you keep this up, we're not going to get back before Christmas. Come on, boy, move. <laughs> okay, let's make a deal. All right, it's carrots, right? Horses like carrots. You can have all the carrots in the world if you just move now. Just move. Don't move. Don't give. Luce, hey. You're on your way home now, right? Yeah, yeah, on the way describes it well. Good, because I'll be at your house in exactly 79 minutes to pick you up. Hey, hey you're, you're breaking up a bit. Are you going through a black, black spot? Not funny, Jack. 78 and a half minutes now. OK, I'll, I'll, I'll better go. I'll see you soon. Bye. All right, well, if you're not going to listen to reason, I'm going to have to result to some severe disciplinary measures. Don't. Oh. No, I, I just got that screen replaced. You know what you are, horse? You're an animal. Congratulations. Well done. That was two minutes. Thank you very much. Did I come last? First, at the wrong end. Smile. Uh, sorry to let you down. You didn't. You stopped for the right reason. How is she? Uh. Bit of concussion. She's all right to go home, though. I'll get some x-rays tomorrow. Here, let me put them in the flight. So, are you OK? Bit of a headache, but I'll live. I heard what you did. Thanks. I saw what you did. Why? Just wanted to make sure, I guess. We tell? No. But I wouldn't do it again. Next time, you might get caught. Sophie! I'm so glad to see you back safely. But where's Jack? You mean he's not back yet? Alan, we have to get him out again. I have to go and look for Jack. Uh, well, can't you call him? I just get his voicemail. It'll take at least 20 minutes to get him out and saddled again. Surely Jack will be back by then. But, but what if he's lost? The horse will know the way back, even if Jack doesn't. Ow, 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 ow. Can people die from thigh chafing? Mm. You would better know where you're going, horse. How do people survive before the invention of the car? Oh, this is not my idea of a good time. Ow! Jack! Jack! You better be styling your hair for the hundredth time! <sighs> Hey, you've called Jack. I'm not here at the moment, buddy. So much for Mr. Punctuality. Lucy, have you heard from Jack? That's exactly what I was going to ask you. The audition's in 50 minutes. <laughs> He's here. He's back. Well, tell him to meet me at the studio, and he better grow wings. What happened? Are you okay? Yeah, well, apart from having no thighs left, I couldn't be better. Your audition is in 50 minutes. Let's get moving. Ooh. Oh. Trailer on will never make it in time. I'm so sorry. Oh, no, no, no. I'm, I'm not letting this beat me. I rode a horse today. I'm not letting a little distance get in the way of my musical dreams. Hang on. Excuse me. Um, what hospital are you guys going back to? What do you think? Ah, uh, you look terrific. You gotta kill him, Tiger. <laughs> the satellite connection's running. We'll be ready to go in 15 minutes. Cool. There seems to be a problem in Australia. What problem? Your guitar is missing. What? Uh, Sam, over here. We've got Lucy online. Lucy, what's happening? Where's Jack? He's still not here. You're kidding. I wish I was. No one has a clue where he is. Is there any chance you could put the siren on? Maybe get a little bit more speed? <laughs> fine, I just thought I'd ask. The speed is fine. Three minutes, Sam. Is he going to turn up or not? I can only hope. It costs us a lot of money to set this up. If you guys can't even turn up on time, I don't see a great future ahead. Hold the phone, Sam. I think we may have some action. 
Hi, I'm here. Sorry, sorry. Oh, how long have we got? Seconds. Oh, let's do it. Bye. Ready when you are, Sam. Okay, go, 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 go. <sighs> okay, everybody. Where did Jack get those clothes? Wherever it was, I think he should demand his money back. Dear boy, you and me, we'll win that competition. Sophie! Sophie! A personal triumph. Read that headline. Sophie's sense of sportsmanship? That's journalist for you. Far too much alliteration. Baron, what does the article say? Oh, yes. Uh, blah, blah, blah. Stop to help the injured competitor. Finish last. Ah! Her actions showed greater sportsmanship than if she had actually won the event. You see, you did Germany proud after all. That's not all, Sophie. The phone hasn't stopped ringing with new bookings for trail rides. You're gonna be a very busy girl. I think I can handle that. You must tell Jack and find out how the audition went. It's been 16 hours. Why hasn't Sam called yet? I mean, she must know by now. Oh, well, maybe she's still mad at you. Oh, come, I, I said sorry about a thousand times. I'm sorry I was late. I got there, I kept my promise. True. And the world got to see you in Jodpers. That was a first. Yeah, it was a once-in-a-lifetime experience. Oh, you wish. That was recorded. That will live forever in the digital world. <laughs> Sam, so, um, tell me what Greta said. Wait, do I want to know? Yes, of course you want to know. But the... Yeah. There's great news, good news, and bad news. I think she's delirious. The good news is Sharon loved us. What? Seriously? The bad news is he also loved Jack's jodhpurs. What? <sighs> Apparently very edgy, very cool. He admired your individuality. Oh, good. So come on, what's this great news? Before we can make any final decisions, Sharon wants to see us perform in person. In Germany, in two weeks. So... I hope your passports are still valid. <laughs> <laughs> what can I say? The world works in weird and wonderful ways sometimes, and this was sure one of them. But hey, who's complaining? Not this girl, that's for sure.